Hey, it's Miss Pomeroy. Today we're going to be reading a book called Daniel Goes to School. It's our friend Daniel Tiger at school with all his friends. Hi, neighbor. It's time for school, said Daniel Tiger. I've got my things and you've got me, said Dad, opening the front door. Now let's get to school. Please take us to school, Trolley, said Daniel as he and his dad hopped aboard. Ding, ding, said Trolley. We're going to school today. Won't you ride along with me? Ride along, said Daniel. When they arrived at school, Daniel pulled Dad into the classroom. Come on, Dad. Let's go build with blocks. But Dad just stopped. I would love to build blocks with you, said Dad, but I have to go to work. Are you sure, Daniel said, asked. Maybe work is closed today. Dad Tiger shook his head. I don't think so, Daniel, he said. It's time for me to go. Daniel was sad. I don't want you to go. I want you to stay and be with me. I want to stay too, Daniel, said Dad. But all your friends are here, and Teacher Harriet will take good care of you. At the end of the day, I will come back and pick you up, because grown-ups come back. Grown-ups come back, repeated Daniel. He gave Dad a hug goodbye. Ugga mugga, said Dad. Ugga mugga. Teacher Harriet gently led Daniel to the art table. Let's see what your friends are doing. Prince Wednesday was drawing a picture of his dad, King Friday. My dad's at work being the boss of castle stuff, he said. My mom is at work too. I miss her, said Miss Elena. But look, I have her picture in my necklace to remind me that she'll come back and get me. Daniel picked up a crayon. I want to have a picture of my dad too. I'm going to draw us in a rocket ship blasting off to the moon. Daniel imagined that he and his dad were blasting off to the moon. Whoosh! Come to the rug for circle time, called Harry, Teacher Harriet, and everyone skipped over to the rug. Everyone except Miss Elena. Where was she? Suddenly, Daniel heard, oh no, oh no, oh no, and it was Miss Elena. I can't find the picture of my mommy, Miss Elena sniffled. If I don't have my picture, how do I know my mommy will come back and get me? Daniel put his arm around Miss Elena. Your mommy will come back and get you, he said. My dad always says, grown-ups come back. Thanks, Daniel, said Miss Elena. I feel a little bit better. We can help you find your necklace, suggested Prince Wednesday, and the whole class began to look. They looked high. They looked low. They even looked backward. Until... I found it, hooted the owl, picking up the necklace off the ground. Thank you, O, said Miss Elena happily. Owls are excellent lookers, said O the owl. Owls are excellent friends, too, added Teacher Harriet. Teacher Harriet looked at the clock. We spent circle time looking for Miss Elena's necklace, she said. It's lunchtime now. Miss Elena, would you like to be my helper today? Okay, replied Miss Elena. At the table, Miss Elena passed out the lunch boxes to her friends. As everyone munched down their food, there was a knock at the door. Who could it be? It was the grown-ups. All the grown-ups came back, said Miss Elena. She was so happy. Daniel ran over to his dad. You came back. I did, replied Dad. Can we build with blocks now, asked Daniel. I've been waiting all day, Dad answered, smiling. Thanks for coming to school with me, neighbor.